Hello guys and welcome to Game Dev Art. First of all, you need to create your Play Game Service configuration. And just scroll down to Play Game Service uh, here and just configure your project and you will get your project ID. Then you need to add credentials. Uh, the first one added by Play Game Console but if you need to test in debug or release version of your game you need to add credential through here or either through your uh, google cloud platform uh, under api in service credential just create credential using OAuth id and then you will get this page uh, here you need to add application type which is gonna be android and here you need to paste your package name uh, like com dot uh, your name dot your project name and then you need to paste your sha1 certificate of your either of your debug key or your release key or of both uh, in separate um, separate credentials uh, here so then you can cre uh, just create and save uh, then you also need to uh, reassign uh, your credential over here through adding credentials just click on add credentials scroll down and you will get uh, uh, you will able to click uh, uh, drop down over here and then select your credential of debug or release and you will be able to log in through your debug or release version uh, how to get sh1 id just search on google or you can see the command copy paste it into your cmd i am using windows or whatever uh, uh, platform you are using just google it just search over the internet so i am using uh cgska plugin actually i am not using this one uh, uh you can if you are using 3.2.3 or 3.2.2 uh go dot version you can just click the release version but if you are like me and you are using 3.2.4 for the app bundle feature oh. or if you want to use a token provided by Google uh, then you need to use um, this version just click on his ID and find the repository of GPGS version and just download this zip version over here and you also need uh, R file provided by Godot so after extracting this zip file if you are using godot 3.2.4 you need to change few files uh, changes are must so first i'm going to show you not so important changes mm, uh, these changes are just to upgrade the build files uh, you can upgrade build files uh, to the new version mm, like uh, this if you want to you upgrade kotlin version uh, you just upgrade uh, need to change the version over here and here and then if, uh, you need to upgrade this build file like this build tools 230.0.1 and one more change to gradle wrapper yeah here to wrapper properties uh, you can change the distribution url to 6.5 dash r and you need to paste your dot ar file over here into go.lib 3.2.4 and you need to change the name of this to the version you are pasting if you are pasting beta 4 you need to change uh, the name according 
to the R file into this build all cradle file so afterwards uh, you need to go to your source file source of your game service uh, which you can find over here app source main just keep clicking all these folders and you will find yourself over here into gpgs folder and then you need to edit uh, play game service code.cotton file i am using code visual code to edit so here you need to change uh, the name uh, it will be like this go dot as activity and you need to add get activity with parenthesis with these bracket and just add, add get activity into into these lines too you will be good to go so after that you need to compile the uh, gpgs version uh, you can just use cmd uh, if your build is passing in go dot version then your build should pass over here too just type gradle build and press enter and it will start building and you will get your ar file over here app inside build inside uh, outputs r and you need to copy paste your coder play game service release dot r file to your plugin folder of your game of your go dot game and you also need to edit your uh, gdf file over there you need to add your gdf file edit uh, your gdf file you can find that file uh, into your down demo of project here uh, if you await these versions to dependencies to you need to add uh, those dependencies exactly over here too and you need to either uh, rename over here or rename your dot ar file according to this uh, name and you will be good to for the plugin part so how to set up your play game plugin uh, you need to add this line to your manifest file uh, you can find your manifest file into your build folder and add this line under activity just copy paste this line under activity and then you need to copy paste these uh, lines with your app id uh, you can find your app id over here in your play game console configuration and you will find your app id like here to your string file which you need to create into your res values string.xml and copy paste those lines so these two changes are must for your plugin to work now how to use this plugin in godot so i am just going to show over here just copy paste this main.gd file and rename it to your gpgs.gd to any uh, thing you like like gpgs.gd and replace uh, these ids to your um to your leaderboard id or whatever ids you have created in gp or uh, in your google play service it is uh, different from the vanilla version if you are using a one without token uh, you don't need uh, these extra things uh, you will just get uh, a few things uh, you can look that file over to that repository so if you need token then you need to add your client id over here uh, you need to create a web credential 
over to your cloud services uh when over here in application type you need to change to web application and you will find your client id over to your right after creating it and then you need to copy paste dot that client id over here so if you are initializing without uh, save games uh, you need to just uh, use this uh, line so what this is uh, if you need email of your player you can just do the second uh, variable if you need to uh, get your player profile id uh, you can do the third one third variable too and the fourth variable is for the token you need to just copy paste your client id and you will get the auth token of your client and if you want to initialize with save games then just add your uh, save game name or basically whatever uh, name you want to save your game in play service so in order to uh, sign in just use sign in function similarly sign out after the sign in you will get on sign in success uh, with your user profile which is gonna be a json and user profile place json uh, inside that you will get your token id player name you don't need these uh, functions just delete them so i use play game service in my all in all of my games so you can check uh, to the top so in this one i save my game in play game service so that's all for today i hope you like this video i haven't shown much of the coder part over here so if you have any questions just uh, comment uh, just post them into the comment section and i will try to answer them so in the meantime please like share and subscribe and wait for my next video thank you